All right, Chelsea, thank you. It is a very special day for a group of graduating seniors. Yeah, not only were they recognized for their academic achievement, but during today's ceremony, they were recognized because they had transferred, for, transferred from a prominent private Catholic school after that institution permanently shut its doors last May. And WJZ Live at 5 o'clock tonight, Rachel Cardin spoke to some of the IND transfers who say they now have a new sisterhood. Rachel. That's right, Rick and Nicole. So many of these girls told me, if anything, this transition was just one of many. They say a lot of them are going off to college. So they say once again, they'll have to uproot from an environment they know and make all new friends. They say, if anything, this challenge helped them. It wasn't the graduation they pictured when they started at the Institute of Notre Dame four years ago. But I honestly love this 2021 class. And I don't know what I would do without this last year. I was incredibly no. heartbroken because I was with these girls for so many years and we were all sisters. But I met new sisters on the new way. Fifteen students transferred from IND to Catholic High after their school, with its 173 year history, closed in May of 2020 due to under enrollment and funding issues. Today, the two schools merged to graduate together. Ready? Here we go. I think everyone came together as one today. So that meant a lot. Catholic High School President Dr. Barbara Naselrod made mention of the transfer students during the ceremony so they could stand and be recognized while their alma mater song played. Nothing can replicate the Institute of Notre Dame. We did the best we could to show our support and to make them feel at least we were celebrating with them as well. And IND's head of school, Christine Sazala, says her students are glowing. I'm just so proud of them, and they look wonderful, and they're so happy, and you can see it. It's IND tradition for students to carry bouquets of roses, so their graduation from Catholic High was filled with flowers. I feel like to include us and not make it seem like just Catholic High's graduation, but Catholic High and IND's graduation, I feel like that was very nice and wholesome of them. I'm really thankful to all the girls because they were super welcoming. This year wouldn't have been the same without them. And the parents of many of those IND transfers telling WJZ they're super proud of their girls and they just couldn't be happier to see them so elated today. Now, many of the Catholic High graduates are going off to colleges or universities, and one is joining the Air Force. We're live in Baltimore City. I'm Rachel Cardin for WJZ.